ไปไปเออเป็น my happy background This dead guy is fine. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh, oh yes. Uh, how have you been, my dear? Yeah, I'm alright. How are you doing? I'm tired. <laughs> it's you know, you, it was your week last week. It's it's my turn now. I'm, like, I'm still oh. tired, but like that's ah. that's not new. Okay. <laughs> fair, fair. Okay. Uh, before we get into anything, do you want to introduce our podcast? Do I? All right. <laughs> she insists. Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie, and that over there is apparently a very tired Lily Kay. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, but yes, yes, we're here. We're doing this again. And uh, from now on, this will be a monthly thing that at the beginning of each month, we're going to do a recommendation month. Uh, I, yeah, I was thinking about the fact that yeah. recommendation feels a bit. We haven't seen any of these things because they're not out yet. Um, um, you... Yes. So fair. just like uh, some things that we're looking at as being, oh, that looks interesting. Maybe you might be also interested in that. Yeah. But it's not. Never, 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 how how you call it then? <laughs> how you call it then? <laughs> well, we can be wrong about it. Like that's know. what we're going for. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's still you know. Hey, take a look at this. Maybe it's gonna be good. It Maybe. might be interesting. Maybe. It looks interesting. To us. Yeah, that's it. But first, what did you watch last week? Uh, well, I've got two things, but I'm going to hold off on one of them, funnily enough, uh, because it kind of leads into what we're doing this month, for this month. Okay. So I'm going to hold off on that one. It okay. should be painfully obvious pretty quickly, but it is. Mm. So I'm going to talk about the thing I actually did do last week, was I went to the cinema for the first time <laughs> since December, and I saw Nightmare Alley. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, well, when are you going to see it? I'm seeing it on Thursday. Thursday, right? Yes. Um, so the day this comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> good. But uh, yeah, it's good. I think the first half's a bit slow. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody in it is incredible. Kind of funnily enough, they're all amazing. Yeah. Um. Uh. I do, yeah. I do think the first half is a little bit slow. I think it takes you a minute to figure out what's. You're full of feelings on everybody, mm. which I think is intentional. Which is, you know, it's fine. Um, I liked, yes. Yeah, the second, I think the second half is a lot more interesting when you meet Kate Blanchett's character. Kind of that point forward is there's a lot of really interesting stuff. Um, I think there's one scene in particular in it that I fucking adored, just because I think that um, Bradley Cooper and Kate Blanchett in it are like, like electric off of each other mm. it is the most insane sort of like back and forth nice. um mind game kind of thing that uh, it was so good and i was a bit i was a bit disappointed the rest of the movie didn't have more of that mm. like quite like quite like that it like it kind of does it once and then i go i want to why don't you i want more <laughs> but it is it, very good i i i think the ending um really makes the whole thing which i always appreciate about a, a piece nice. um there was a shot near the end that i literally in i think in the cinema i wasn't the only one who looked at it and went oh they did it they did the thing <laughs> you'll see what i mean when it gets there i, I bet think. yeah yeah <laughs> um but i was i was it was it was one of those sort of like you know sort of film student the nerdy moments where i went i see what you did there <laughs> <laughs> i see what you did there Guillermo. <laughs> But um, yeah, I think it's it's good. It's really good. Um, Hi. I yeah, it, it's funny. I feel I I'm I am not the most um well versed in Guillermo del Toro's work. I've seen Crimson Peak, but that's about it, actually. Um, uh, you I, haven't I, seen Pan's Labyrinth. No. Oh no, no. Uh, you have yeah, to watch that. Okay. It just it's trust me. It's very, I know, I think very, it's good. very good. I know it's very good. I just haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, I saw Crimson Peak because um, Tom Hiddleston. Yes. Um, and uh, with that as my reference, I'm like, man, Guillermo del Toro really likes the image of like a woman wearing white with blood all over her. Yeah. It's a fun image. Yeah, I can see it again. There it is. <laughs> he likes that. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I've also been still watching Black Sails. But I don't, and that I'm enjoying that. But I've only just started season two, so 
I don't have a whole lot to say on it other than my friend, um, my friend Aaron messaged me after I tweeted about it about two in the morning being like, yes, it's really good, but don't you worry. Season one is garbage compared to the rest of it. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> that season's shit compared to, I'm, I, there must be, I'm, I can't wait. <laughs> There you go. You're gonna you're gonna find out. Terrible. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So you yeah. know, it takes also, time to evolve, I guess. Jack Rackham is my favorite. For anybody who has seen Black Sails, I just think he's fucking brilliant, and that's all on that. I don't know what you're on about, so I haven't he's seen been... it. So I'm like, oh, God, sure. so... <laughs> so good. Tommy Jones is not Tommy Jones. I do this every time. Tommy Stevens from Nice. Hey, so <gasps> there you go. From a... yeah, from from I might from have Lost to in watch Space. This then. <laughs> um, he play, he's ca- he's Captain Flint because it's the, it's the story of um uh, it's it's I think it's technically a prequel to Treasure Island. Ooh. Um, so uh, yeah, ooh, it's good. Ooh. It's good. It's pirates. It's you know what's not to like. Now now you 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 pique my interest because I mm. love Toby Stevens. Right, come on. Lost it's also Space. got Tom Harper in it. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, is Billy, Bo- is Billy Bones? Um, hmm. I think the gentleman who plays Jack Rackham, who I was just mentioning, looks a little bit like Ben Barnes. Not quite Ben Barnes, but he's got a look about him. Um, hmm. You know, kind of, you know, the sort of dark features, similar shaped eyes, that sort of thing. Um, but he's also just, I think, he just is so entertaining. I love him so much. <laughs> like everybody else is like, you know, they're all pirates, they're a bit morally dubious. Yeah. But him, I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. Do whatever you like, mate. I'm just going to be here. Right? He just walks in and is like, I'm smart and hot. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, go off game. Good. Good. I, might, I might have to watch this then. I, I think you piqued my interest. I'm not big on pirates, so I'm like, you know. Interesting. I, 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 I like a pirate thing. It's not like my go-to thing, but I'm like, every time it comes about, I'm like, yeah, pirates are, I like a pirate thing. I don't know. I'm just like a bit like, oh, pfft, meh. It is kind of making me want to replay Black Flag. From Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one was good. I like that one. Uh, nice. Uh, I, well. Yes, we'll be, we'll be your, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> you go now. I, I watched this. Oh, yes. Yes. I, I binged it. It's, it's 12 episodes uh, between 50 and an hour long episode. <laughs> you know, it's... It's very good. <laughs> it's like I I just couldn't stop it. Uh, I just had to see it through. So I've been watching it till one in the morning, but I finished it on Friday when it came out, and it's brilliant. Oh God, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, no, went all the way. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm crazy, but uh, 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 if it's Korean, <laughs> uh, if it's if it's a zombie story, if if it's horror, if if it's if it's good. Then I'm hooked. I just I just have to see it through. It's not Kingdom. I will say this: like Kingdom is still just fucking awesome. Uh, but it's it's definitely very close. And I actually made a list, and I had to realize that uh, now all three of my favorite zombie uh, movies or TV shows are from Korea because one is Train to Busan, then Kingdom, and then all of us are dead. So I think I probably could have guessed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh I I think I I now just a little, you know, I'll put it in the in the description down below. I just finished well, I I might not put it in there because I don't think it's going to be out by then, but I just finished writing my review of the whole series um... uh, for Kautsu, which you know, you, you can find me there. I have articles there and please read that as well because we we, we are trying to grow and grow and grow. Um and uh, you, you're going to be able to to <laughs> read my thoughts on it in, in there because uh, I'm really hoping that Katie, you're going to watch it at one point and uh, I don't get. I don't want to spoil anything because there are some there are some great things in there uh, that I've really enjoyed and I thought that I won't enjoy that uh, <coughs> okay. uh, especially after our talk about zombie movies and zomb- and the zombie genre and I thought that I I will be against it but. Uh, I actually like it, so that's that's all I will say very mysteriously about it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I watched that, and then I watched another Netflix original, which was um, uh, 
the woman in the house across the street. I uh, was <laughs> curious about this when the trailer came out, and then a bunch of reviews came out, and they were like, "It's shit." <laughs> I was like, I got a bit put off, but then I've also seen like you know casual audience reactions who really liked it, so I have no idea. <laughs> I. <laughs> any good now uh uh i i will say that i think it was really fun and uh, i think that it it might have a similar case to don't look up where i i hate to say this but critics just don't get in because this was a parody of all the similar movies like the girl on the train the yeah. uh, woman in the window the Fuck knows what else. I can see somebody <laughs> being like, "Is this a spoof?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's it a is. Spoof. It, it is. There's it's... a reason the title is like yeah. several lines long. <laughs> it is a fucking uh, and and you know because I kept seeing reviews where they said that uh, you know it was too obvious and whatnot, and I was like, that that was the point. Like, you know, I I think they were trying to make fun of the whole genre that is that now exists and and we keep seeing movies that are similar to this uh oh, a woman sees a, a murder and she has to investigate and she's so good that <laughs> oh, oh figures out everything just by googling it and whatnot and i think kristen bell is fucking brilliant <laughs> like she was so good in it uh but i will also say that i love that um she was the kind of narrator that was unreliable so at the end i was like an unreliable narrator (laughs) yes and i was like uh, at the end i'm like okay it's 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 very interesting so i'm hoping that they will follow it up because it would be interesting to see how they would mock another genre because i i think i know where they are going with it uh or what what are they pointing towards but uh at the same time if it doesn't get a second season it's still good it's it's i think it's an enjoyable ride and one episode is like 20 minutes or something so it's not oh that's right it's they're short aren't they it's they are short yeah yeah so it's you know it's good mm-hmm. um so yeah that's that's two main things i watched i don't think i've watched oh i've watched a quiet place part two again <laughs> <laughs> that's bad it's a good movie though it's it's a, i love it i love it but that's it yeah that's all Mm. You don't watch too many things. I was very busy with other things and I'm very tired. I've uh, also been catching up on Critical Role. That's why I've been like not really watching other stuff mm. quite as much because I was like maybe four episodes behind, which doesn't okay. sound like a lot when you say that. But then you consider the fact that the episodes tend to be about four hours long. Uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm like, I'm nearly caught up now. If I, unless I don't finish the last, the last episode before Thursday, in which case I'll be two episodes behind again. Okay. It happened so fast. Fair, fair. Um, but yeah, let's jump on the recommendation mm. part of the things. Uh, so let's start with Here's you. Here's what we're considering watching this month. Yes. Maybe. I think um, we're gonna st- stuck with the recommendations. Yeah, I know. But I just I'm I'm you know being but fair, fair, pedantic. Also, fair. also don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. <laughs> Sorry, we have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got so close to the mic. It's just something like right in my ear. <laughs> Go on. Uh, okay. Well, the first thing I got because we were talking about this before. Mm. I've got TV shows, and they seem to have movies. I couldn't find any movies that I was certain that were coming out this month that we were that um, I was actually totally interested in. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty much the one that I was looking at actually isn't coming out here in the UK until March, so I just took it off again. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. But the first one I'm looking at is a show called Murderville. Ah, I wrote Netflix. that up as well. You wrote that one <laughs> yeah, as well? Yeah. I saw the trailer came up on my feed the other day and I was like, this looks like great fun. <laughs> yeah. It's um, out in two days. Is, it's like um yeah. So the day this comes out, actually. Yeah. There you go. Uh it should be on Netflix now. It will be. It's. I think it's six episodes, not mm-hmm. very many, and it's Will Arnett playing like a fake detective. Yes. And they've set up these like, um, like a bunch of actors uh, in these like little murder mystery um scenarios, mm. uh, and they have real celebrities who don't have a script and just have to react to everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. And I just think it sounds like the most complicated like little re- escape room show. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so into it. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like stupid fun. Yeah. And I love Will on it. I think he's great. 
and the guests look a lot of fun mm -hmm. i i just yeah it's, it, it's so up my street because especially if they set it up in a way that i'm kind of hoping that they set it up in that we kind of as an audience get to try and figure out what's going on at the same time Possibly. Um, so i just it sounds i'm so it just sounds like great mm -hmm. like a great time <laughs> yeah yeah i rolled it up as well i was like yeah this looks good <laughs> I like yeah. it. Good. I don't know if there's anything else really to say about it because no. that's that's all I really know. <laughs> I I wrote up that it's uh, based uh, actually on 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 a British uh, show called no I didn't write it up I just read it um, mysteries in success will or or something like that. Wait, I will find it. I don't think I know about this. They yes, had a show. It, they had a, it was they had a show on on Channel Four recently. It's not really. Yeah, there wasn't a comedy thing. It was. It was quite sort of serious. But it was called like Murder Island or something like that. No, no, it's where, not that. Yeah, yeah, that did seem kind of cool as well. To be fair, and I was considering watching it, but then, then um, I didn't, which is my. <laughs> most, I guess I didn't write it up, but I remember this remake of the UK BBC Three show Murder in Success Will. Oh, maybe I do know about this. Yeah. Unless it was in the past, like six years since BBC Three went off the it went off um, um, television, which is back on now. BBC Three is once again a broadcasting channel in the UK, which it was the stupid to take it off air in the first place. But there you go, <laughs> it's back on, baby. Goody the murder in successful? Did you yeah. say? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's British Six on. Yeah, it is. It's you know it's following that same concept that they had there. Did you come inside? Yeah, there it is. Huh. Why have I? It's wild. I've never heard of it before. I haven't either, but there it is. That's, that's, the, that's the original one, the OG uh, that they based it on. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely something I will be watching as well. Not on Thursday, because I am watching Nightmare Early on Thursday. <laughs> that's valid. Yeah. I'll be uh, interested to talk to you about that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. Uh, so let's let's jump onto to the movie section, and I will be very basic, uh, and I will say I am very much interested to see Moonfall because I love a very good catastrophe film, and Roland Emmerich is the is uh, the master of did, catastrophe. I, I, I've seen the poster, I think, for this, and I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so basically, it's, uh, the moon diverges out of orbit and uh, oh, good. <laughs> uh, uh, sets on a collision course uh, with Earth. And uh, there's a bunch of scientists led by Halle Berry who are trying to stop uh, uh, the whole thing from happening. Uh, and it's, Classic it... disaster movies. Stuff, yes. Then. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for it. I'm not going to lie. I like... Uh, um, I, I especially love uh, Ron Emmerich's works. Uh, like uh, twenty twelve is is I I just love that movie. I don't know. I I've seen it so many times. Um, he Independence Day, Stargate, uh, The Day After Tomorrow. Like you know, I just I just love these kind of movies. Funnily enough, when I scroll down on on Moonfall on Google, the first things that came up were Independence Day Resurgence, The Day After Tomorrow, twenty twelve. There you go. <laughs> Independence, the original Independence Day, Deep the, Impact. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah. White House Down. Yeah, he did White House Down as well. Uh, so these are just movies that I, 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 people also search for, apparently. Okay, he did the Deep Impact, that's for sure. He did the uh, uh, first American version of Godzilla as, as well. Mm. Uh, so apparently, people also search for the Hunger Games. Oh, wait, not sure how those do. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Greenland has come up though, but uh, which I have actually oh, yeah. heard is like really good. <laughs> Greenland is very good. It's very good. I, I really like it was, Greenland. It was one of those ones where, it, you know, it's a Jared Butler disaster yeah, yeah, yeah. movie. So you're just a bit like, this is probably going to be a bit trashy. But apparently it's like genuinely quite good. It's, it's quite good. Yeah, I was I was very surprised by it. That was one of those movies where I was like, I'm going to watch it because it's a disaster movie. And I like that. So, you know, I put it on and I was very surprised by how good it was, actually. Like, uh, you know, it, it, it felt realistic in a way that I don't think disaster movies like to be <laughs> a lot of times. It, yeah, I think that if you go <laughs> to a bit too realistic with a disaster movie, you you risk just depressing your audience to It's a I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit depressing at parts. Like, you know it was some parts were hard to watch. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. The only it's it's a kind of different vibe. We've gone on a tangent, but I'm I'm sticking with it anyway. Okay. Uh, the the only because I haven't seen that many disaster movies, and I'm going in a bit of a different direction. But the one I saw was um, 
uh, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, it's a good movie, and obviously it's, uh, Steve Carell is really good in it. I think yeah. Kira Knightley as well, if I remember correctly. I think so. I think, yeah, I think it's yeah. Kira Knightley. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really great film, but good lord, that ending is so sad. <laughs> like, I finished it and was like, all right. Yep. Uh, I just sit with that one now. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Green Greenland has a... Um, P-ish ending, so you know, it's good. It's very good. So I, I, I and it's up on Netflix now. You can see oh. it as well. So if you want to watch Greenland, it's up on Netflix, and it's, uh, uh, it is the movie that uh, I think they uh, sold the rights for the sequel for like a stupid amount of money, uh, <laughs> because it it was it was so successful, uh, and they didn't really expect it to be. I wanted to point out because I went to go see if it was on Netflix where I was, and uh, the first thing that came up is all of us are dead. <laughs> Because I think it came up a little while ago and I added it to my list. So now it's like, it's here. Would you like to watch it now? I'm like, yeah. Soon. Um, what was it. I looking for? Greenland. Greenland. Should be on. Uh, it's not in the UK. <gasps> nope. mm. Sad. But you can watch a Geo store. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't let me... St no. I've look, heard really bad things about that movie. Look, that's that's the disaster that's the only disaster movie I don't like, I believe, because <laughs> I just I can't such a I, shame. Isn't Robert Sheehan in that movie? He is, yeah. yeah. And and Gerald Butler as well, funnily yeah. enough. Well, so. that's because the Gerald Butler just likes making movies where things blow up, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I think it was um it was on the Jimmy Kimmel meme tweets when he he reads the page like uh, to Pete. I can't, I can't. Uh, tweet uh, and and the tweet says like, uh, why, why is Jared Butler doing these awful movies? And and he says because I like doing awful movies. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> More power to you, Jared. There you go. <laughs> Done. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I don't know. So I just have this itch for disaster movies, and uh, and uh, there's so few still uh, around. Like you know, there are the big I ones. Think it's and because most of them are shit. I think it's because they do really badly. They do badly, but, uh, you know, I don't mind most of the time. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, so far nothing beat uh, 2012 in my mind. I, I really like 2012. So, um, yeah, John Cusack can put your hair as long as in there as well. well it's good. Uh, but yeah, Moonfall it is. Hmm. And it's coming out this week, actually. Uh, and I'll be well, watching it happening... on... Like at the beginning of February, I was noticing there wasn't like a whole lot on the like stacked end of February. Yeah, there wasn't really anything going on in February. No, but uh, <laughs> we found a few few gems. I I think hmm. I or I think I did at least. Um, but um, yeah. Uh, 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 My turn. Yeah, your turn. Um, there's another Netflix show because I and I've been seeing a lot about this one. It looks interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't really know much about it other than like the basic premise. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's been a lot of buzz around it. It's a show called Inventing Anna, um, about a woman who basically like conned her way well. into um, high society. Did you mm -hmm. put that one as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she basically just sort of like wormed her way into high society. Um, uh, I think it's based on a, a true, true story. story. Yep. Um, it's got is it is mm, no I'm, I'm going off to, uh, hang on, i'm gonna go look this up again now because i i couldn't i can't i'm mixing names up in my head and i'm like that's not the right one inventing uh, beg your pardon bless you um it's julia gardner who's playing the anna if, if uh, in question mm -hmm. um uh, yeah i don't know it just seems like yeah julia uh, a journalist investigates the case of anna delvey the instagram legendary heiress who stole the hearts and money of New York elites. Yeah. It's a Shonda thing, apparently. Yeah, you it's know, a Shonda Rhine thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until um, uh, I poked a little bit further, but I don't know. Just, it, it's one of those ones that's been kind of popping up a lot, and it's a miniseries, which I always appreciate. I do like a miniseries. I mean, it's like, we're doing a story, and that's all you're getting. <laughs> yep. Yep. We don't mind that. We like that. Especially if it's good. Yeah. yeah and but... it just seems, it seems, it seems interesting. And that's on the 11th of, of February. Yes. Um, yes, yeah. yes. It's it's on Netflix though. It is on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, I I understood that you said uh, uh, it's not on Netflix, and I was like, no, it is on Netflix. Sorry, it's, I, it's... I I I meant I, I said something different. I meant to say it was on Netflix. 
Mm, all right. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm interested in that one as well. Uh, it, it, it looks it looks fun. Uh, okay, I will say that the next one is also coming in theaters, although I have no idea if it's gonna arrive in Hungary. So that's good. It's gonna be a bit hard for me to actually find it. It's called Dog. Uh, and it's directed by Channing Tatum. It's 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 gonna oh, be. Uh, yes, I think I read about this yeah. in Empire this month. There you go. Uh, it's basically about to- two former army rangers, uh, and one of them is Briggs, who's also played by Channing Tatum. He's he's not just directing; he's also uh, one of the main character. And Lulu, who's a dog. Uh, and... Dog. I thought you said Doug. Dog. And I was it's <laughs> dog. It's dog <laughs> uh and basically uh the the main story is that they have to get to the pacific coast uh to a fellow soldiers f- uh, funeral and uh, it's gonna showcase their uh i guess their journey i like the way that this is written along the way briggs and lulu drive each other completely crazy break a handful of laws narrowly evade death and learn to let down their guards and have to have a fighting a chance yes I can't read. They let down their guards to have a fighting <laughs> chance of finding happiness. Good lord. One day I'll be able to read properly. <laughs> it's okay, I can talk, so you know it's it's a match made in hammer. <laughs> uh but yeah, it, it it looks very interesting. Uh I like turning a lot, so you know, uh it, it will be interesting to see this. Uh it reminded me of another movie. Uh, uh, which starred um, Kevin Bacon, um, and I, I don't, I didn't look up what was the uh, title, but uh, basically he plays, uh, plays a, blah, 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 blah. Um, he plays a soldier, and he has to deliver uh, the uh, body of a fellow soldier back to his home, to airplane rides and and whatnot, and uh, um, you know it's. Everyone is trying to pay their respects along the way, but it's it's already like a really hard task to go through, and and I think it just it it, it showcases beautifully how how this journey to to the final rest is is uh, for for soldiers uh, a lot of times. Uh, actually, Kevin Bacon has a lot of very good uh, indie movies, and this is one of them. And I will I will tell you, uh, 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 what was the name? It's it's. Uh, oh. I want to point out in 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 um, further sort of um, support of this 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 movie, Dog. Mm-hmm. It's uh, apparently about an hour and a half. Yes, hour forty. So it's, it's short. It's short. It's good. <laughs> it's good. I'm not gonna Where's find that. it. Uh, where is it? No. <laughs> where is it? No, it's not the Mystic River. No, I don't know. It's 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 uh, soul soul something. <laughs> I no no oh my god it's this one i'm s- such an idiot it's taking chance that's the title of the movie uh as and and it is based on real life events actually so okay. i i recommend that one as well uh taking chance with kevin bacon it's it okay. was very good very heartbreaking yeah i want you all to cry uh <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the only other thing I have on my list, and it means I can um, talk about the other thing I actually watched this month, okay. which is... It's this! What it's a surprise! Box Who would oh have god. guessed? Oh my god! So, the first three episodes went up last week. I've seen them twice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, uh, I watched the first two when, when they did their little screening um, a couple of days before it came out, because I was one of the backers. Um, also, my my script, my 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 my, my pilot script and the display cases that have been been sent. It's one of my the last things from the kick, from the Kickstarter that I should be getting in the post. Nice. Very excited about that. So I watched those two episodes, which were very fun. I do like them very much, but the third episode is where shit gets really good, <laughs> and I was so happy with it because it's like I'm these this is a, a story that I have had in the back of my head, and they've had in the back of their head since. Uh, late 2015 mm-hmm. or like or like it started they had uh, some of the first two episodes way before that um but specifically the the beginning of, of what they is known amongst us as the briarwood arc um this episode specifically goes through some stuff that happened 
about mid September and it was the wildest thing in the world to me watching this like fight scene at the end of episode three and being like I feel like I've seen this before not like literally I feel like somebody took this out of my brain and it's like I'm just seeing it again actually in front of me for the first time <laughs> even though I feel like I've seen I, I like I know all of this like mm. so into it's so it was so crazy um and I'm just so thrilled it's it's really funny and uh I was just I'm so happy to see them all again is it I've, I've, I I don't know how many people know this but I have been watching this since literally day one um uh I am very fortunate to be like right there from the beginning mm. and it has been remained a very just you know I want to say stalwart and I don't know if that's actually the word I'm looking for um it it, it, it it's 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 a it's a love that's remained very true to me for the past uh nearly seven years it'll be seven years in March is fucking mental um but the three episodes are coming out every friday um so we've had the first three there'll be three more every week in 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 february which is why it counts in this because it means i can tell you that it's already good and it's gonna get even better <laughs> <laughs> i'm really excited about it nice. um there's a song in episode three that um i tweeted about last night uh just having it in my head as i'm going to sleep with something else I don't want to spoil it for you because I know you're going to wait until they're all out. I will. <laughs> Christ alive. <laughs> uh, it's really good. I'm very happy with it. I mean, there's some things about it that I'm like, oh, maybe that doesn't work quite as well. Some of the dialogue mm. in places is a little bit like sticky, I guess, in that it doesn't quite work. Mm -hmm. But the voice cast is all fucking incredible. I mean, it's them, but there's also David Tennant in the first two episodes. Nice. And he's so good. I mean, um, it's David Tennant, so. Yeah, I know, but I'm like, the, the, when they announced that he was in it, I don't yeah. remember, I can't remember if I said this on here or if I just told you, but like, I watched, they did like a big old announcement video yeah. and I stood up and like span around. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, it's David Tennant. I'm like, ah! I can't believe David Tennant's on my little demon D show. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. But it's uh -oh. so, yeah, I'm. I'm very happy with it. I, I'm a bit sad that you can't see everybody, but the most important thing is that my sweet boy, <laughs> they've done him so well. Nice. Oh, it's so good. Good. I'm, really, I'm just really looking forward to getting like people who don't have any clue about it to watch it so I can be like, do you understand? <laughs> do you get it yet? <laughs> <laughs> I I will watch it once everything is out. Once like, everything's out, that's yeah. fair. I understand. I think that will be. I'm just trying to do. I'm gonna do. I gotta look at a calendar real quick. Um, so that's to six. Something. No, no, it's it. There's only twelve episodes. I think nineteenth oh. is. Uh, sorry, eighteenth when it, the last three episodes oh, drop. Okay. Um. So we've had the first three. Yeah, that's four. Um. <laughs> four weeks worth of three episodes is twelve. So yes, it will be on the eighteenth. Nice. Good, 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 good. I can't wait to watch it as well because I love the animation for starters. Um, mm. I also started to listen to Critical Role. Well, I'm saying listen because I am literally listening when I am drawing. Well, yeah, so, it's, you know. it's, it's, yeah, it's valid. It's still, I, I mean, I've said it many times. I uh, There will be times where I'll put it on and I will fall asleep during it. Usually during battles, I fall asleep during battles <laughs> quite often. <laughs> I just do it. As much as I love them, every once in a while, they do turn my brain off sometimes. Fair. It, happens. it happens. I was I was re-listening to um, one of the uh, old episodes on my walk today because I had been doing some re-listening and then I stopped for ages and then I was like I should go back to this because mm. mm. I'm I realized I'm about two episodes away from like a really major part mm -hmm. um, and I was like fucking hell <laughs> so close <laughs> it's gonna drive me nuts but yeah it's it's just great I love Vox Machina Aww. that's it <laughs> good. Good, I like it. Uh, I will say two more things. Uh, well, three. Uh, two of them. Oh, I have, I have nothing like... else, so if you can please go. Good. Uh, I, um, first of all, Uncharted is coming out uh, this month. I didn't mention it because I'm like, I know we're going to do we, a, a review talk. on it, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm not that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Not that Same. But uh, I will be saying it on in in advance, so I will be watching it next yeah, week, yeah. actually. Mm. Uh, so if it's can't bad, wait to see if, <laughs> if it's bad, we're not gonna make a review on it. <laughs> or maybe we Do will. You know what? That's a good idea. <laughs> maybe we will if if it makes me very mad. Because look, I love Uncharted with all my heart. I cosplay uh, as Chloe a lot, and 
I, I went to two Comic Cons dressed as Nathan Drake. There you go. <laughs> uh, so I have. I really easy. Yeah. Chloe I as also well. wear, I I wear this. <laughs> Oh, I wear, literally wear this every day. This is my Nathan Drake ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have it all, uh, under my Nathan Drake uh, freaking statue because that's how much I love it. Like, I got uh, my Uncharted 4 art book dedicated. Uh, dedicated? Did I say that? Uh, with, uh, by Nolan and Troy. And, and you know, I, I have the plan if 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 uh, Claudia Black ever comes around to have her sign it as well. I love Claudia Black. Yeah. I love, look, I love Chloe, okay? Uh, I don't like how Chloe looks in this at all. Uh, it's not Chloe. The number of people that I, they've been, I've been like, you know, Chloe's in the movie and they're like, what? Who is she? And I'm like, yeah. it's, the, it's the woman you can't identify. That's meant to be Chloe. And they go, oh. Yeah. I, I, it, it, no, nothing against the, the no, 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 nothing probably against lovely the woman no, no, who no. plays her. No. Um, but uh, no, that's, that's not Chloe. That's. That's all I'm saying, and I'm already very upset about that. Uh, but yeah, that's that is coming out. I'm watching it next week, and we, we, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I I found two things that were. It's I'm not that I am. It's not that I am interested in them, but it was <laughs> I found very funny uh, trivia behind them. So I was like, I okay. I will just write it up. Uh, so the first one is Texas. Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, oh fuck yeah, that's coming this month. It's it? it's coming this month, and uh, as I found it out from IMDb's uh, trivia page, uh, it got horribly negative reviews uh, during the, the test screening. It was also the first movie that had a test screening uh, after 2020, and uh, people basically said that it completely disrespected the original, that the story <laughs> and the character development was illogical, and uh, Legendary Pictures just got scared and they basically decided to pull it from theaters and just sold it to Netflix. So that's why it's coming on Netflix. And... The more interesting part is that originally it had two directors and both of them quit after they changed the script and one of the changes included the main character who was supposed to be a disabled woman played by a real disabled woman and they cast someone who wasn't disabled. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like a disaster. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to watch something probably bad i don't know i haven't seen it yet then um it's it's coming on netflix so yeah you know. there's a weird amount of horror movies coming out in the beginning of the year um at the moment because i mean scream 5 just came out which i did hear is actually quite good oh yeah um, yeah, yeah yeah um which i was i haven't seen i've seen the first scream movie but i haven't seen the other ones and i was a mm -hmm. bit sort of like do i want to watch this just for jack wade do i <laughs> Yeah, that's that was the only reason I considered it as well. But mm. no, I didn't. Mind. I think I missed it now anyway, so it's it's fine. Like, I I can live. I can wait until it comes out. Yeah, on one yeah. of the three so. service it comes out on. Eventually, um, I should probably watch the other screen movies. You haven't seen them. <laughs> I've like I said, I've seen the first one. I haven't seen. Oh, all you've of seen them. the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen I've seen the original. Okay, fair, fair. That's fair. Okay. But yeah, it's it's coming out. Just, if if anyone is interested, it's coming just, out. Oh. A strange yeah, time of year for like the horror movies to be coming out. I feel like it's it's always around this time when more of them come out. To be honest, it's just so odd. It is There's odd. a weirder thing going on in uh, Final Fantasy fourteen at the moment where they've got an event on, which is the All Saints Week, and it's literally a Halloween event. And it's like it's Feb you realize it's like January, February. You guys, it's not. They don't care. Not... <laughs> I'm just so confused as to why this is happening right now. <laughs> Decided they, that it would no, be fun. no explanation it's like okay i guess we're doing this now there you go it's you just have to deal with it uh yeah that's uh, that's actually because i wrote up all the releases that seemed interesting and that the long night is also a horror movie that's coming out um studio 666 666 yeah. is coming out which is uh from um uh, dave Grohl from uh full fighters yeah that's uh, that one and uh, yeah, but uh, the other one, I wrote it up because um, I was scrolling to Netflix and they releases and it is listed as a Netflix original coming out. Uh, but then I, I went on IMDb and it turns out that it's already out. So I'm like, well, uh, it's called One of Us is Lying. Uh, and I have that book. <laughs> Yeah, I've never it's, read it, but I have it. It's, it's based, yeah, it's based on that book. Uh, and... Um, 
and it was it is set to release at the end of the month i think on netflix but it's peacock series oh right okay so i was like oh so this one is out i honestly didn't know that they've made it into a series i bought the i thought but because there's a bunch of them now yeah i bought the first book years ago because like every once in a while i go over to the um uh what's it called um ya section Mm -hmm. and i go oh maybe they'll be maybe i'll find something interesting over here um and i found this one and was like "Eh, give it a go um because it looked really interesting Mm -hmm. but it's just been on my shelf along with a bunch of other ya books i just bought and never read yeah (laughs) that feeling but uh yeah it looked the the, the trailer looked this interesting and uh I guess you can already watch it, so you don't have to wait for it to... First thing I've just found is audience reviews on Google. Somebody put one star. As someone who loved the book, this adaptation is poorly executed. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but at the same time, it's got like pretty decent reviews on mm-hmm. on, on things like... It, IMDb has it marked as a 6.9. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. That's where I found out that it's it's actually out already. Yeah, uh, seventy percent like this show, eighty eight percent Rotten Tomatoes. It's like it looks like it's probably it's, fun. Yeah, yeah. So I don't. I haven't watched it. It looks interesting to me, so I might. Check I it like out. cat and mouse murder things, which I think part of the reason why I bought the book in the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do love a cat and mouse like mystery. It can um, be good. They are some of my favorites when yeah. they're done well. Sometimes they're not done very well, and like you have to have like a really good like mm. adversarial sort of thing going on. There has to be enough mystery in there yeah. for me to be like a bit of fun from the villain, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, playing games, it's like that has to be in- that's that's the important part. Yeah, and, you know, that's why it's one of my favorite things when when um, like crime dramas do them. Mm-hmm. But I think I think Castle's done it. It did a couple of really good ones, and it has been. Uh, they kind of had one. It was like. Uh, Criminal Minds had their one where they gave they basically gave Reed his own Moriarty character uh-huh. but it, she was played by Aubrey Plaza nice. it was pretty like she came back every once in a while and it was like oh, it's just <laughs> 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 it's like it's not necessarily what I call you know top tier television but it's really entertaining <laughs> which is you know sometimes that's all you need that is sometimes all you need yeah so yeah it's all good uh, but yeah I'm, I'm, I had a I had a shower not that long ago, and I you know cleaned my face and put on. I'm just so shiny. (laughs) (laughs) Oh god, it's okay because I'm because I'm clean, guys. I'm clean. Katie is clean. Okay, shut up. I had a shower. I used a cleanser. (gasps) My god, (laughs) crazy, unbelievable. Uh, But yeah, I I think that was us for Mm. for. Uh, the only other thing I can think of that's yeah. coming out that may be interesting because mm. it's coming out maybe tomorrow. I mean, for us it would be the third. Um, okay. It's uh, on. It'll be on Hulu or I think Star for us who have Star. Is the um, Pam and Tommy oh Pam and Tommy yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. I don't know how interested I am in seeing it, but I thought I'd mention it because other people might be interested yeah, in yeah. it. Um, obviously it's Sebastian Tan- Stan who yeah. is great. Um, and Lily James is there as well, who looks entirely different. It's kind of insane. Yeah, it, um, it is. <laughs> it's a little bit bonkers, but like it is, um, it is supposedly the true story of what happened around um, Pamela Anderson and, and um, I can't remember his name, Tommy. Uh, uh, it's not going to come to Their me. sex tape, anyway. Yeah, their sex tape. tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the castle's good. I don't, just don't know how interested I am in seeing it, but other people might be interested. And so there you go. By yeah. the time this out, I think the first episode will be out. Probably, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about mentioning that, but I'm not sure if I am that interested in it. And yeah, I'm... see, this is why I was. It, yeah, it's kind of like. And I'm not gonna lie, I heard so many bad things about Lily James that she's. See, that was the other thing as well. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've heard she might. She's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not. Like, I'm not really interested in anything she does, to be fair. <laughs> and even though I love Sebastian Stan, and, and when I found out that um, uh, Seth Rogen is in it as well, um, and Nick, Nick, um, no, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? It's not going to come to me. Are you checking it? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking things up. Uh, but yeah, I, I was in Lee. That's his last name. Sorry, that was the oh, there I was you go. Up, there but you I go. Yeah, yeah, Nick yeah. Offerman. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's it just didn't come to me. Um, so I I got very interested, and then and then I remembered that I just don't really like this woman. I'm not gonna lie, and I heard so many, and 
and I heard it from a friend as well. Yeah, no, it's 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 like I I'm, I'm sure she's great with other actors, but for the people like yeah. me who work or you you and I who work in like mm -hmm. runner positions, mm -hmm. she's a bit of a nightmare. So I'm like, no. <laughs> Sorry, Sebastian. I'm not. I. I don't think I will watch this one. I. I'm to, to be. Oh well. Because it's Craig Gillespie who I do. Yeah. There are some. Did I, say, did, I, did I say Craig? I never say Craig. It's Craig. I'm English. It's Craig <laughs> Gillespie. <laughs> there you go. But yeah. Um. Uh, I think that was us for today. Hope mm -hmm. you guys enjoyed. Uh. Um. Uh, and then we're gonna be back uh, next week. I don't know where what, but we're gonna figure it out. Because we're great. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> it's it's going to come to us in, in a dream or something like that. Uh, we might have an interview. Who knows? No, we don't. I, I'm not. I'm not don't done. tease that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm just joking around. Uh, no, I'm. I'm trying. I'm still trying, like I always do. Uh, hopefully, someone will come in. And uh, this year, we're going to talk to Jeffrey about his third book at one point. That's true. So you know, whenever it comes out, whenever it comes out, uh, he's already posting uh, the lovely artwork that's going to be in it. So you know, exciting things. Uh, I could probably invite Rick back at one point that's a good idea we should yeah. do that yeah we love you Rick. very very kindly made a lovely instagram post about oh. your book oh. it was so sweet <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. he's so great uh, rick is just the best honestly he's he's in um um chicago fire she, she, mm. uh, one uh, of the chicago's I'm one sure. of the I chicago's know. yeah yeah, yeah. like mum mom hasn't mentioned it though mum watches all the chicago's okay I think it... he he was in Station Nineteen. Station Nineteen, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not that's, one of the Chicago's because that's, that's that's one that was Station Nineteen is connected to Grey's Anatomy. Yes, 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 yes. That's that's not the one. Of one. Yeah. So there you go. That's the one. He's in that uh, right now. So check it out. Mm, and we love you all. And don't forget wow. to subscribe. This forty-five minute episode, aren't you guys lucky? <laughs> <gasps> You're so good. We're getting professional, Katie. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's meet everybody. Thank you.